Hello everyone, welcome to Manual Tutorials. In this video, we will be seeing how to solve the fractional knapsack problem using the 3D approach. So, we will start. So, to solve the fractional knapsack problem, we must remember this one formula. This is the only thing which makes a difference from the 0, 1 knapsack. So, this is M minus S of w, SW divided by the weight of the item. We will see what it means later. Now, we can start solving. This is the given ex problem that we have to solve. So, we have three items. The capacity of the knapsack is 20. The profit associated with the first item is 24 and its weight is 18. Similarly, the profit for the second item is 25. Its weight is 15. The profit for the third item is 15 and its weight is 20. So, just like the 0, 1 knapsack problem, we have to find the profit by weight ratios for these items also. So, here we have listed down the items, written down their profit and their weight and we can find the P by W ratio. So, for the first item, the ratio is 1.33. For item 2, it's 1.66 and for item 3, it's 0 0.75. And the second step also remains the same. So, just like the 0, 1 knapsack problem, the second step is the same. We have to arrange the items in decreasing order of the P by W ratio values. So, the order that we have finally got is I2, I1 and I3. Because we can see that for the, for the greatest, the value for the item which is greatest, the greatest value of the P by W ratio is 1.66. Next comes 1.33 and then 0 0.75. So the order of the items would be I2, I1 and I3. So this is the order that we have got. It's I2, I1 and I3. So we can start solving. We have set these values to 0. SW which is the weight of the sack. SP which is the profit for the items inside the sack. And S is a set which contains the items that we will be including in the sack and m is the capacity of the knapsack which as given in the problem is 20. So we can start based on this order we will be adding one one item at each iteration into the sack. So since the first item that we have to choose is i2 its associated weight is 15. So what we are supposed to do is add the current weight of the sack with the item with the weight of the item that we will be adding. So the current weight is 0 and the weight of the item that we will be adding is 15. So the total is 15. Similarly, since we have added the weight, we have to also increase the profit. So the current profit is 0 and the profit associated with item I2 is 25. So total we get the profit to be 25. Now we have added the first item. We can see that the current weight of the sack is 15 which is lesser than the capacity of the knapsack which is 20. So we can still add more items. So we can proceed with the next one. Now here we can see that the next item that we are supposed to add into the knapsack is I1. So what we have done here is we have added the weight of the item I1 with the current weight of the knapsack. So it's 15 plus 18 which will give us 33. But we know that the capacity of the knapsack is 20. So this item cannot be included as a whole. However, as we are solving the fractional knapsack problem, we can take a part of the item. So we can, we'll see how we do it. So here that formula comes into picture which I had shown you all initially. So the formula is M minus SW upon the weight of the item. M is the capacity of the knapsack. SW is the current weight of the knapsack and W of I is the weight of the item that we will be adding into the knapsack. So we have substituted the values M was 20 the current weight after adding the first item. We don't take into consideration the weight of the second item together only the one which is satisfying the criteria of being lesser than equal to the capacity. So it's 15 divided by the weight of the current item in this case it's I1. So, the ratio that we get is 20 minus 15 which is 5 divided by 18. Now, what does this ratio mean? It means that 
of this item that we are currently going to add which in this case is i1 5 by 18 of the weight can be added into the knapsack and similarly 5 by 18 of the total profit can be obtained so that is exactly what we'll be doing so we can see for the weight of the knapsack the current weight plus the ratio multiplied the weight of the item so the current weight was 15 the weight of the item is 18 18 multiplied multiplied by the fraction which is 5 divided by 18 so what we get is 15 plus 5 which is equal to 20 which is the capacity of the knapsack next what we'll be doing is we'll be trying to obtain the current profit so the profit that we have currently is 25 to that we add the profit that we'll be getting from the fraction of the item that we have added so we have added only 5 by 18 of the item i1 so here even the profit that we get will be the same so it will be 5 by 18 of the profit of i1 which is 24 if we solve this we get the value as 31.6 so since the capacity of the knapsack has been reached the solution that we have obtained now will be the final one so the final solution is the weight of the knapsack is 20 and the profit is 31.6 thank you for watching the video hope you all have understood how to solve the fractional knapsack problem using the greedy approach if you like the video please like it also share the videos and subscribe to manual tutorials so you can get notifications of the videos that we'll be adding thank you